the single one. Talking about being busy. Fuck's sake, Jack. What? You're beating the devil's tattoo in that thing. I thought he pretty much told me to take lead. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit south of light speed, please. It's a fast go. Without a doubt. I just wrecked the fuck out of a sign. It's a good thing everyone gets one. I'll go ahead and uh, impound the minnow. Alrighty, I'll uh, look into this patient. What in the fuck? Absolutely no clue. Robocock is not getting a pulse. We're gonna set up equipment. Be careful walking around there. Shock advised. Stand clear. Push to shock. Yeah, <laughs> Hold on, we've got a note. Oh my god. And is that you? What? Dr. Cock? Is that you? Yes, it's me. Oh my god, Dr. Cock! Hello, Hello. Ange. What, uh, what happened here? I don't know, I just remember, you know, pushing my car a bit, and then, I just, nothing. Pushing your car out here alone? Yeah. Well, the oh car. My God, where's my car? Oh, oh yeah. Shit. I impounded it. Don't worry. Oh, oh, you got George? Yeah, we got uh, what? Yeah, just get all Is your that stuff. Your car's name? Yeah, George, the tow truck guy. George has been towed. Hey, no, no, George. He's George, the, the tow the truck guy. Truck. I don't think it was George this time. Oh. oh. I can't pick up my money. So George, George did the towing, not. Then whose Stang is this? Oh, that's mine! Why do you have two cars out here, Anne? Well, somebody, you know, put a car over in my garage, and then 
I was just taking it out because I wanted to park my Mustang in there, but, um, yeah, shit happened, I guess. Damn it, Ann. How, how are you doing, RoboDoc? Very, very metallic. Not even evening, is it? Oh, it's more of an afternoon. Morning. More of an afternoon. Feeling very metallic this afternoon. Ange, how are you feeling? Pretty good. A little cold. Yeah, no. Oh, you guys shaved yeah. up my beard. Oh, no. Uh, it, it's standard protocol. I'm sorry, Ange. Oh, man. Rest in peace, beard. It was a good beard. Okay. Nothing you can't grow back, Ange. Yeah, exactly. I believe in you. I believe in you. Me? Yeah. This isn't about me, Ange. This is about you. Oh, I thought we were talking about you. Well, maybe later. You, Ange. I'm talking to you. Oh, well, hi. How are you doing? This is where I saw the space ghost. The what? Yeah, the space ghost, but I guess it's not a space ghost, it's a clown ghost? Yeah, he was just like right over there. Not today or anything, this was, this was, this was a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> what was I... he wearing, by any chance? Um, well, clown mask and like these tan, I don't know, it looked like a space suit. I didn't see it too well. Jumpsuit? Yeah, probably. Uh. Yeah, a clown mask. Well, at first I thought it was a space mask, but then then it kind of got closer and I saw that it was a clown mask. He, like, he had this really cute, like, creepy music box, you know? And he was giggling and stuff. I thought he was, like, really fun, but then my friend Don was like, no, you shouldn't. And then I was like, oh, all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I was actually the one who called the police on him because he was, like, I don't know, I was like super baked and I started just freaking the fuck out, you know? I mean, I was just on a really bad trip. <laughs> but no, yeah! That, oh. Holy shit. I remember this one time. It was kind of, I think it was dusk, you know, and I was, I was like driving away, like back from my place, and this car passed me, and it, its horn was like this crazy, like, honk, 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 you know, not like a car honk, but like a bike honk, you know. Wait a second. It kind of sounded like a clown horn, you know, like what they have. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sure it's nothing. Probably not. But alright. Uh, don't forget to get your uh, the rest of your stuff over there. Uh, and, uh, it kind of wants to just stay there. I might tried. just leave it there for decoration. I think he's stuck to the step. Quite possible. Yeah, oh well. It's just a couple dollars anyway. Okay. But well, red gold. I can see, like, a red gull in the pile of money as well. Yeah. And if, and if you're feeling okay, uh, I can have you sign a release. I feel super good. Okay, okay, I can have you sign this release and, uh... Kissers. Wait, what? What? Isn't that how it happens? You just, like, make out with me and I wake up like Snow White? Uh... Or was it Sleeping Beauty? Oh my god, I can never keep it straight. Sure, Ange, that's what, that's what happens. Well, good job, Jack. Jack. Thanks for making out with me, okay? You do a really good yeah. job. Good man. Cheers. Alright, Anja, uh, just sign this uh, release here and we'll be out of your hair. Okay. Looks good, looks good. Alright. Well, Take it easy, Ann. Yeah, you too, thank you. Alright, you got Wait, it. Are you a psychiatrist too? Uh, not licensed, but uh, soon, hopefully. Okay. Take it easy, Ange. Party for it. All right. Hugs. Radio check. Perfect. Perfect. Ten two. All right.
Alright, take it easy, Ant. Will do. That Ange is something. Yeah, she is uh, a character. I'll stick with character. She's not crazy, she's just energetic. Something about a gal who seems like she drinks 25 red goals a day. God damn it, Frank! Oh god, not again, Frank! That was me! Go. Oh. So, sorry, Conrad, that was on your leg. Alright, we're doing this one at a time, hold on. So, quick recap. Both ambulances explode in a fiery blaze. For seemingly no reason. All of my medical staff is dead. Managed to get all of them back up. Did I tell any of you to get out? Conrad, hop in. We'll, we'll work that one out. Everybody wait in the lobby for beds. Fuck's sake. I sit always. I sit always night time yeah, when I'm in here. Oh, I'll make it a habit. I'll be back. Hey, Brian, I just threw up on myself. Does it look good? Does I said wait in the lobby. You are all my patients. You have burns on your leg, homie. Are you sure? Yes. Would you like me to look at you from this bed? Here's your bed, Brian. Hop in. Hey, Conrad. Yeah, hey, what's up, man? You're, you're looking pretty fine over there. Oh, you stay put. You're getting blocked by Brian. Working with a explosion that killed just about everyone. If not killed, close to. Hey, Brian, look at the bright side. Look at that, my mama. I can't even see the bleeding on your, on your suit. You're not allowed to sleep right now, buddy. You may have suffered a concussion. Well, there be repercussions for my concussion. Shut up, Frank. Was it caused by percussion? I've got a, f a question. Custom. I got great news, guys. This is the hospital's first quadruple X-ray MRI. <laughs> 
all of you stand really fucking still. Conrad, you take a deep breath in. Just push all the fucking buttons. You guys are nuts. Son of a bitch. Okay. What? Conrad, we'll start with you, okay? Got it. Are you breathing okay? Uh, let's see. Mostly. Alright, good, good. I'm gonna make this one quick, because we can't afford to uh, let any of these other assholes die, so... What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna... You still have that IV. I'm gonna push some morphine, okay? You're gonna feel pretty good soon. What I'm gonna do, in uh, layman's terms, is I'm gonna yank that shrapnel out, suction the area, and then need debris, and then I'm going to stitch it up, okay? Sure. That's your life-threatening issue right now. Any of the other cuts and bruises, I'll take care of afterwards. Got it. All right. How are you feeling right now with that morphine? Frank, wake up. Oh, darkness, my old friend. Pretty good. Good, good. All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my uh, my suture kit ready. Good. I'm gonna put on some gloves. Upstairs, somewhere, second or third floor. Hey, where are they at, Craig? Conrad, not now. What? Hey. Dispatch? Yeah, because uh, I used to dispatch uh, from another place. Alright, I'm going to pull this piece of shrapnel out, okay? Dispatch in my imagination, gotcha. so I was maybe going to do that for everybody tonight, just to see how everybody likes it. and <laughs> Alright, it's out. We're going to suction the area. <laughs> All right. Looks like most of the internal bleeding's gone. I'm gonna go ahead and stitch you up. All right. Okay. Yeah. Um. If I'll say if you guys want me to do that, then I definitely can, and I will. Uh... All right, that's looking pretty neat, pretty good. I'm gonna throw a uh, bandage over it for you. Do a uh, general dispatch freak for you guys, so you guys have your good. Time. All right, Conrad, you just uh, chill out, enjoy that morphine, and hopefully uh, I can get the rest of you assholes sorted. Patient number two, Brian Hendricks. How you feeling? Uh, uh, burning sensation like everywhere. Like everywhere. Well, I'm gonna take these clothes off. They're getting cut. Hot. Oh, I like that uniform. Getting cut. <laughs> Not for you guys, I can for us. Uh, oh, well, Brian, it looks like you've suffered. Yeah. Looks to be superficial burns to about 80% of your body. Oh, fuck. Yep, downside is, uh, yep. you know, burns. Upside is they're all superficial. You, I'm going to put you on 15 liters of oxygen. Even if you're doing okay, just in case. Gotta be hard to uh, talk with that mask on, but gotta work with it. Okay. Uh, no ointments. I'm just gonna put some dressings on you, okay? They're just gonna be some burn dressing. Not much I can do for uh, superficial burns. It's really bad, but just think uh, burning yourself on the oven, just everywhere. Yep. But we will be subjecting you to cold water baths later. Patient number three. Frank Jeffries. Wake up! Hey. Hey. Stay awake. I'm worried about a concussion from you. Wake up. I'm going to give you something to wake you up. Fine, here's some smelling salts. We'll try some smelling salts. How does that how does that smell, Frank? Okay. Hey Frank. Out, Bowman. Get. Get. I'm gonna ask you. All the way out. Yeah, 
got a bunch of shit that I gotta give these guys. Hi right, guys, I'm gonna probably dispatch a little bit. All right. Go out and find a spot that's centrally located on the islands, and I'll try. Frank, to I just need you to stay awake for now. See, uh, see, there's some caffeine. Be waking right up. Jacob, I didn't get to see what happened to you. What happened, bud? Uh, I had a piece of shrapnel in my in my left leg. I I pulled it out, applied some pressure to it. It hurts like a bitch. I got some burns on my left leg too that I only I only saw that leg. I didn't see the other one. Okay, well I'm gonna cut off this as well. Okay. Expose that leg. You guys don't want me going in there right now because I'm trying to get this shit back, but he's busy. Alright, look, I'm seeing some blisters here, which means we're at least partial thickness, Jake. Well, okay. This is no good, and it's possible we're going to have to scrape the area off later. <laughs> it's not going to be fun. I'm going to drug you up, but it's not going to be pleasant. As for the shrapnel, it looks like you dressed it pretty well, but it's definitely going to need some stitches. Son of a bitch. Can't be funny. All right, so it's an IV for you. Your uh, your left arm okay, Jig? Yeah. All right, so all I got is sixteens. So uh, poke on three, okay? Okay, I love needles. Cool. One poke. <laughs> oh, that tickled. All right. So what I'm gonna do for both you and. Uh, and our buddy Brian has put you on uh, normal saline because uh, burns can really fuck up uh, fluid volume. And it's 15 liters a minute via mask for you as well. There you go. It's going to be a little hard to talk with that mask on. Okay. I can work with it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that bandage off, and I'm going to uh, begin stitching up. Can't even think. You guys... Frank! Uh... I just gave you caffeine, buddy. Right up the tube. Uh... Should not be this, this groggy. How oh, hungry. God damn it, Frank. Alright, so there's your IV. I'm gonna put you on, uh, normal saline. I'm gonna run that one wide open. Alright. As for this, uh, I think it's time to go. So we're gonna take that bandage off. Alright, looks the bleeding looks to be minimal. I'm gonna disinfect the area. And uh, I'm going to give you morphine before I do that, because that's going to hurt like a bitch, okay? Mm. Morphine. We'll give that a moment. I'm going to continue inspecting the site while it begins to kick in. What direction did he go? Uh, he headed uh, west on Union from the hospital. Frank, you haven't been taking any drugs, have you? I should. That'd be so much better right now. Can't have you on. My head hurts. I don't know. Hey, what? I'm right there with you. I hit my head pretty hard. All right. Suit your time. Uh, Fuck. No SIM card. Anywho. Feeling that uh, you feeling pretty good right now, Jacob? Mm -hmm. I'll take that as a yes. We're gonna go ahead and begin. I'm gonna disinfect the area. All right. All right. So we're gonna begin. Come down here to the bottom end.
behind me, so... Just keep her going. That's looking nice and tight. We're going to throw a bandage over it. As for that burn, uh, we'll look into it later, okay, Jacob? I already have some charge. The head hurts. What do you need, Frank? My head hurts. Ah. All right. I'm going to look into this. Frank, stay awake for me, buddy. Franklin, your scan came back positive for a concussion. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use that IV I got on you earlier. We're here on this arm. And what I'm going to do is uh, give you some Odanzatron. All that's going to do is it's going to take that nausea, that dizziness, that need to vomit. It's going to take it away. Ready? Frank. Uh, Work with me. I'm going to take that away from you. Uh, All right. Now, Frank, I know what it is. And it's been long enough. I'm going to allow you to rest. I'm, I'm allowing you all the rest. I'm going to put you in patient recovery. Along with the other guys. Brian, I'm going to put you on 100% normal saline as well. I don't know why I said 100% normal saline. That's what you do when you get your head hit. Be sharing a room with Frank. Okay. What, Frank? You got any beer? No beer, sorry. Uh, I don't want to die sober. Perhaps was in the red Commodore. You can bleed there. Sounds like a horrible way. Oh, that was Red Mini Cooper. Wait, where? No, I thought it was Red Mini Cooper. Conrad, you still with me, bud? Yeah. Good, good to hear, buddy. I am going to give you all until the storm hits to recover. This is unfortunate. For my lovely burn victims over here, I'm going to uh, apply some moist sterile dressing. You get a lot, Brian. So that should, uh, those are nice and cool. That should uh, start to make you feel a little better. And for you, it's going to be the leg, Jacob. That should do.
Can I get anyone anything to eat or drink? Mm. Beer. Except beer. We're talking water. water. We're talking donuts. Right here. Right here. Who's right here? Right here. Who's right here? Nanner. Alright, what do you need? Food, drink? Uh, water. I'll go grab you some. Anyone else? Food, water? Frank, for real, food or water, come on. This is so weird. Nobody move. Son of a bitch! Get me a drink! Alright, you all will be dispatched at time, or not dispatched, but discharged at time of storm, TOS. Is it me, or can I hear slot machines in Union City? It is, uh, unfortunately, uh, everyone can hear it. It's, there's an issue. So far. And I believe there are people who don't know how to actually hear now. You know, there's people who don't Alright, now I do believe everyone has received water and donuts, correct? I do believe everyone has received water and donuts. Yes, sir. Good to hear. Now I'm going to sit down because my head's starting to hurt. Uniform's going to be 10 10 to the. Why don't you grab a bed too from downstairs and join us? Oh, okay. I just need to. I just need to lay down.
this will be better. Gentlemen, see we're good tomorrow.